everyone. So today it is July 1st. That means that it is a new month that I'm going to be doing my favorites from the past month. So this is my June favorite. I haven't done a favorites video like in monthly favorites in a while. I've done I think a current favorites. I really want to do monthly favorites like every month. It's just like I don't know. This is like the first month that I've actually like kept track on my phone of what I've really been using like every single day and stuff. So I'm going to start off with makeup and the first thing that I have been absolutely loving is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This, um, I think this was in my last favorites video. It's just amazing. It's a weightless complete coverage concealer. Um, I don't, I feel like it's complete coverage but I don't, I just really use it underneath my eyes. I don't use it to cover up any like Thing on my face because as you can tell it's pretty light so I do just use it to kind of brighten up my under eye area and then I kind of take that and drag it onto my lid just to kind of like cover up the veins and stuff but um it's amazing this is in the shade light warm so if you're like my skin tone ish but you want to kind of lighten up those under eye circles this works perfectly and to go along with this I have my little fake beauty blender but I promise it works better than the original because my sister has one and this one just gets a lot bigger and I feel like it kind of can move the product around more and like put it in its place at the same time um, whereas the other beauty blender I feel like it's just like sucking in the makeup that's on my face and just kind of taking it off rather than like putting it back on but um, anyways this I'm not sure where I got it I've been loving using it with a um, this concealer it just kind of helps look more airbrushed but not having to go through all the trouble of spraying your face with an airbrush machine. Next is also Urban Decay and you're probably like wow Gracie that's a throwback item. It really is but I stopped using primer for probably like two months and then randomly one day I saw this sitting in my makeup drawer or whatever and uh, I was like I'm gonna try it. I haven't used it in a while so I did and I promise you it makes a heck of a difference because I don't know like you can just tell how so much smoother your um, eyeshadow will go on and it just like blends out easier and it's more pigmented and it just looks better all in all if you have any type of primer I definitely recommend using it because it also will keep your eyeshadow from creasing next is something that I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions on in this video maybe not because I'm probably gonna jinx it but now I shouldn't get that many questions because I'm showing you what it is but it's definitely one of my favorites of the month it is the NYX soft matte lip cream and obviously what I'm wearing on my lips right now and this is in Cannies. I honestly do not know how to pronounce it. It's C-A-N-N-E-S and it's amazing. I love it. Oh, they smell like I can't even describe the smell. They are so good. Please like go to your like Target or Ulta or something and just smell them because oh my gosh like I wish I could just tell you how they smell but like I could just eat it if it wasn't makeup obviously but um the only thing that they since they are matte they're kind of drying so you kind of need to put some type of um balm on of it like after a little bit but I mean it's really not that bad like I haven't put any lip balm on and it's obviously still really matte but yeah this is definitely a big favorite of the month if not my most favorite favorite but um Yes, definitely try this out if you get the chance to. And last but not least in my makeup category is a lip scrub because my lips have been very, very rough and kind of chapped lately. This is the Lush Popcorn Lip Scrub and it smells like sweet, but I also like, well, I'll just read you the um, description of it because that's basically how I would describe it. A sweet and salty lip scrub that smells like popcorn, scrumptious. That's such a weird word, like scrumptious, okay. So my lips have gotten so much softer lately. I will use this at night and sometimes in the morning before my makeup and then at nighttime I will just put some lip balm on and I'll wake up with really soft, smooth and like kind of like refreshed lips from using this the night before. Now into the nail category. Um, my first favorite is something that I can't really show you but it's just been gel nails in general and I do have gel nails on right now and they're just kind of like this light pinky color. I don't know if you can see them but I really like lighter kind of like nudier colors but you, this is just like a light pink and I love it um it's not too like whoa you know but um I don't know I really I like the well colors too but every once in a while I like to just get something that makes my nails and hands just kind of look 
clean and like sleeker, if that makes sense. Gel nails last for so long. I don't recommend getting the um, French tip gel nails because if you do, they literally chip just like any regular nail polish because I don't really know why they actually do that. Gel nails is definitely like something that I would recommend if you're, you get your nails done often or you can't get them done that often because like I said, they stay on for like as long as acrylics do. They're really easy to remove. A lot of people think that they're, it's kind of hard, but if you get ones that are like this, they're really easy to peel off. Um, which is not really the correct way to do it. And then there's also uh, like the correct method where you dip a cotton ball in 100% acetone and wrap your finger up um, or lay it on your finger and wrap it up in tin foil. That works too. It makes it a lot easier to be able to kind of like scrape off of your fingernail, which is the correct way to do it, like how they do it at the salon and stuff too. Gel nails is a mu is yes, but um, I don't recommend getting French chip in gel nails. And next is a nail polish that is so, so, so similar to the one that I have on, but it is just a pink one, so if you guys are looking for one, this one is from Sephora, and it is in the brand X Formula X, and yeah, it's in the color Potent. I love it. Next, moving on to hair products, my first one is this huge bottle of It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I love it. If you don't know what it does, um, you can look up the 10 things on the back. That's why it's called like It's a 10 or whatever. But um, I just get the regular one, not the Plus Keratin because I don't dye my hair or anything. I never have. Um, eventually I might, but as of right now I have it. And I love it. It kind of like can restore your hair. Mine is awful. I really need to cut my hair off because it is such old like hair like think about how long this hair has been like on my head but this definitely helps it look better than it like it look, makes it look healthier than it is um so I would definitely recommend this it is kind of on the pricier side but it's definitely worth it because of all the things that it does you obviously don't have to get this big of a bottle they have smaller ones too at like um Walgreens and stuff but it works really really good and I don't know it makes your hair super duper soft this also works as kind of like a heat protectant as well, but my next favorite is a heat protectant and um, I just kind of like to double them up just to ensure that my hair is extra protected because I don't want it to get any more damage than it already is. But um, this is the Chi 44 Iron Guard. I used to use heat protectant every single day of my life, but then I just felt like I was spraying water on my hair and then I realized how, da how damaged my hair was getting and like... Um, I don't know it was just getting bad people told me to start using a heat protectant spray again so this is just the one that I had in my bathroom this smells really good like it smells like a guy cologne and when you spray that on your hair like my hair doesn't hold smell at all like it smells like nothing right now but like at least like while you're spraying this it smells super duper good and if your hair holds smell I would definitely want my hair to smell like this next is Netflix shows I have been waiting to film this video for so long so that I can tell you guys about my newest Netflix addiction and it is white collar oh my gosh if you love criminal minds or like those cop shows I don't know the new ones but um I think there's one called like blue blood Okay, probably so wrong. But anyways, all those like kind of like cop shows, you will love White Collar. It's awesome. And I'm probably not making it sound as interesting as it is, but I promise, oh my gosh, and the guy is really hot, so it's a plus that he's like, oh my gosh, you know? So if Neil Caffrey was a real person, I would probably get married to him. It's an amazing show. I definitely recommend it. And then my other favorite Netflix show that I've already actually finished is Young and Hungry. I watched the first season really fast and then season two just came on Netflix and I literally watched it in a day and I'm waiting on the third one to come out but it's probably gonna be a while but Young and Hungry it's got Emily Osment in it and it's awesome two of my favorite shows that I've been kind of like binge watching lately and next category is music so my two favorite songs that have been on repeat is Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran which is not really like a, a newer song neither is my other favorite one but um I love it yeah, I'm not like a big like huge like Ed Sheeran fan but that's like my favorite song by him my next favorite song is Earned It by The Weeknd I also don't really listen to their music but I really liked that song it was on like the top charts so I bought it and now I really like it. Now I have YouTubers that I want to talk to you guys about, and those are Adubs, Summer McKean, and um, Maddie Bragg. Uh, Adubs and Maddie, or Alex and Maddie, moved in together recently, and I've just been loving like their vlog. Maddie's moving vlog was awesome, and I just really like to watch people's lives. So, um, okay. 
and um, Alex, she's just really funny. Her Tinder series is one of my favorites. And if you don't watch her, she goes on these day like she like meets people from Tinder and she brings them on the first day. And on the first day, she films a video with them. And I mean, like the video kind of like determines if they go on a second date or not. And it's awesome. You guys need to watch it. Um, and then Summer McKean, she is just kind of like a beauty guru, and then she will sometimes do videos with like all of her friends. But she's really super duper pretty, and she just makes like good quality videos, and she's kind of like got like a sense of humor. And yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know about those three people that I've been loving lately. I will leave all three of their channels linked down below. You probably know who most of, all of them are actually, but if you don't, I got you. So yeah, that was my June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. And also leave a comment down below of two of your June favorites or just summer favorites in general. Um, but I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye!